What's going on YouTube? It's Vikings95 here. In today's video, I'm going to try and help you all score some sports cards on Target Online Drops. Uh, so this can be football cards, baseball cards, basketball cards. Generally, uh, you can look for it all, you can hit it all. Um, some may be harder to hit than others because there are a lot of active bots right now, a lot of people with monitors, and uh, just generally a lot of people trying to get sports cards. So. Here is my favorite way and my time and time again, I've actually got sports cards doing it and I do not have bots, I do not have monitors. I manually check, I know when to check and uh, generally I'm able to get some sports cards. So here is what I do first. You can, there's multiple ways to do it. You can look for specific cards and I'll show you how to do that. But generally, if you wanna see everything, you go to categories up at the top. You can do this on your mobile phone as well. You go to toys, so you wanna be in the toy section. You're gonna to go to the collector's spot, and there is a spot on the phone that you can see as well, and then collectible trading cards. So once you are here, you can go to sort by newest. You wanna see the newest listings as things come up and are populated. Uh, you're not gonna be seeing like NBA Prism Basketball right now or Prism Draft Picks or any of the recent drops. Um, Hopefully, when you hit a restock, you're gonna see them come up from their dead listing to uh, sold out and live, and then you'll see them where you can add them to your cart. So, you're gonna sort by newest, like we did. You're gonna go and do sold by, and you wanna be sold by Target only. You don't wanna see any third-party sellers. You wanna see what Target is selling you. You wanna get them at retail prices. You don't wanna pay you know, a markup of two to five times that some of the third-party sellers are selling. So as you can see, it's already limiting results. We're at 46. You can see the Pokemon boxes that are currently in stock. There is an MLB Stadium Club Baseball Blaster box. You got Magic cards. There's Contenders Draft Picks. You got some tops. The last thing you're going to do is you are going to include out of stock. And here is why. So the first thing that you're going to see, I believe, yep, is going to be the Star Wars Mandalorian trading cards. This is actually out of stock. You're not gonna see this populate again. Uh, I believe those actually populate at odd times. Um, but so this is what it's gonna look like before a restock hits. Uh, so when they populate, basically what Target does is one time a week, generally, at least it's been one time a week for the past few weeks, uh, they sometime between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. Eastern time. So West Coasters, I'm sorry, I know that's really early. Uh, East Coast does have a little bit easier. 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Eastern Time, they bring back the dead listings that they have, such as NBA Prism Basketball or uh, Mega Boxes or Blaster Boxes of that, uh, Prism Draft Picks. Uh, like in this most recent restock I hit on all Prism Draft Picks products, they had hangers, blasters, and megas. And so I actually, I mean, without using bots or monitor, you are still able to hit. So. When the restock does come around, you will see the listings of those products or any new products that they're about to drop will show up like this first. You'll see them as sold out. You can click on them. You cannot add them to your cart, but uh, you can do the notify me when it's back in stock, but it will not be able to be added to your cart. But this means they're kind of reviving that listing and eventually, hopefully, you're able to add it to your cart just like the stadium club. So what I like to do is actually before I even, you know, add anything to my cart that I actually want to buy, I do a little fake checkout to make sure you're signed in, make sure your credit card is all ready, and so you are good to go when the actual product drops. So you can do something like this, add it to your cart, view cart and checkout. I'm not signed in, so I'm not going to do anything here. But uh, you can basically go, I'm ready to check out, and it'll ask you to sign in. And so I'm not signed in, like I said. But there you go. That's the example. You can do it a pre-checkout. Don't check out. Uh, you can take it out of your cart right before the final, you know, enter the order. Uh, you can take it out of your cart before then. And then your account will be ready to go when the product actually drops and you want to buy something. So that is kind of the first way to do it. If you want to see everything, it can show quite a bit. And sometimes they're a little bit further down. So like, you can see there is some stuff. Okay, I'm not gonna go through multiple pages, but like you got uh, Heritage Baseball hanger boxes here. 
a little bit further down. You can also decrease the uh, screen size so you can see more, but for the point of the video, I'm going to leave it at 100%. Another way you can do it is just like this. You can search football cards, basketball cards, and basically you're going to go through the same motions. So you're going to go football cards. You can see what's in stock right now. Uh, they got score blaster boxes. You got that, uh, the Tampa Bay box. Not a huge fan of those. You do include out of stock. The same sold by Target. Like here's here's the example. So here is sold by Toy NK. You don't want to get an optic, uh, I guess optic hobby hybrid box for six hundred and fifty dollars. It is sold out as well. But still, you don't want to even see that. So just do sold by Target. That's the best way to get rid of that. So we're back to the three. Uh, there's nothing new. But this morning, you know, there were I think six football products. Uh, so it is Tuesday when I'm making the video. The drop did happen this morning. It will probably not be happening again this week, would be my guess. But uh, so here you go. Now you are ready. Generally, what I do is I back out a little bit, and then you have to be ready to refresh. Uh, so when the listing comes live, kind of like this one is where it's sold out, although it doesn't say sold out, it is. You can do Control R on Windows or Command R on Macs, or you can manually refresh. Uh, if you're in like Google Chrome, you can get a Chrome extension to do an auto refresh every however amount of seconds that you want to do. That's pretty nice. I do have one of those where it just refreshes the page every 10 seconds. So there are a lot of ways you can kind of add to your ability to get cards. It is not guaranteed though. I have seen many times where bots will feast. Target is trying to get rid of them. I mean, they're trying to defend against them. Let's put it that way. I don't, I don't think they can get rid of them, but they have made some items red card exclusive. And when they've done that, that actually makes it so the listing stays up a lot longer because the bots aren't buying everything. There was one time where I saw NBA Prism uh, blaster boxes. I believe there were 20,000 of them released and bots bought every single one up within 10 to 20 seconds. It was unbelievable, but it happens. Uh, so that is basically the main way that you gotta be ready for it. You just have to pay attention. 7 to 8 a.m. Eastern time. It can be any day, Monday through Thursday, or Monday through Friday, but it generally happens once a week. So those are the main ways that I've got football cards uh, in the past month and a half. It's been since May since uh, Target has taken sports cards out of stores. So. I mean, it's, oh man, two months, mid-May. Wow, time flies. But uh, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. I'm, I'm typically responding to comments, so I will try and get to it. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if this helps. Thank you all so much for watching. Best of luck hitting those Target Online drops. I'll see you later. Yeah.